Hi, and welcome to Ottawa English. I'm Angela, and today we're looking at the first part of the Kale test, where you're speaking about a visual. The visual we'll be looking at today is a bar chart. When you get to this part of the test, you'll see a description like this. Your professor shows you an image. Describe and explain what you see. You'll be evaluated on the content of your response, the accuracy of your language, and your ability to reference details in the image. You have one minute to prepare and two minutes to respond. Your preparation time starts on the next page. So you know that you're preparing an academic description that describes and explains something visual. You know that you'll be assessed on your content accuracy and details. You know that you'll have very one short minute to prepare and two minutes to respond. As soon as you go on to the next page, the clock starts ticking. So gather your information very quickly. It says that the charts show the percentages of men and women in employment in three countries, and it wants you to describe and explain the information you see and draw conclusions. So this is the presentation that I would prepare. It says, the charts illustrate men's and women's employment rates for Canada, South Korea and Sweden during 2005 and 2015. Employment percentages are shown on the vertical axis and countries are shown on the horizontal axis. Overall, the proportion of working people increased during the period, with employed women showing the most significant rise. In all three countries, the number of employed men exceeded that of women, with Sweden having the, greatest, having the highest rate of male employment approximately 80% in 2005, followed by South Korea with 70% and Canada with 60%. By 2015, Canada had seen the greatest rise to 70%, Sweden had revealed an equal, equal and concurrent drop, and South Korea's employed men had risen by a mere 5%. The proportion of employed women was lower than men in all of the countries during both years. It was below 50% everywhere in 2005, but the figures had risen by 2015. By then, over half of Canadian and Swedish women were working. South Korea's numbers were significantly lower, rising from 30% in 2005 to 35% in 2015. In conclusion, we can say that while in all three countries witnessed an increase in employed women, South Korea was the only country where over twice as many men as women were employed during both years. So we're going to take a look at the components that make up this presentation. So the first thing we need is an introduction. Then we need an overview. Then we need two main ideas, a conclusion, and sprinkle throughout nice sentence variety. For the introduction, you're going to start by paraphrasing the statement. You don't want to parrot it. You don't want to just pick out exchange one or two words for synonyms. You want to try to say this in your own words. And you want to include some of the details from your diagram. So what we've said is the charts illustrate men's and women's employment rates for Canada, South Korea and Sweden during 2005 and 2015. So we've paraphrased this statement. And then we've added a little bit of information about the axis. Employment percentages are shown on the vertical axis and countries are shown on the horizontal axis. And that's all you need for your introduction. So let's go on to our overview. 
In the overview, you're looking at this picture from the other side of the room. And so there are no details. You're just saying what's happening. So for us, the presentation would be, overall, the proportion of working people increased during the period, with employed women showing the most significant rise. And then we go on to our main ideas. And so here we're going to be talking about men in what the first main idea and about women in the second main idea. And because we do it that way, we don't have to keep repeating men, 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 or women, 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 women. We can just say men in our topic sentence. That tells our listener that we're going to talk about men first. So once we've stated that we're talking about men, we can go on to fill it in with lots of details. We do the second with our main. Uh, we do the same thing with our second main idea. We identify that we're going to talk about women now, and then we don't have to keep repeating women. We can just talk about the women and the details. Once we've done that, we go on to our concluding remark, and here our conclusion says that we can say that while all three countries witnessed an increase in employed women. South Korea was the only country where over twice as many men as women were employed during both years. In amongst that, we've got some nice sentence variety. We've got some comparisons happening. We've got lots of conjunctions that give us some sentence variety. We've got some participles that give us that ing flow to the language. And then we've got some nice big nouns. So the components of your presentation need to include an introduction. And this is where you paraphrase the statement about the visual and you add a little information about the axes. Once you've done that, you go on to your overview, where you imagine looking at your picture from the other side of the room. And there are no details. With that done, you go on to your two main ideas that have a topic sentence identifying what you're talking about, and then details. And then you have a conclusion, or some kind of a concluding remark. And sprinkled throughout, you have your sentence variety. If you're taking your exam and having trouble with your preparation, do give me a call or text me at 613-614-6460. I can offer you some tutoring, and I also offer workshops and writing and speaking correction on my website if you want to take a look at ottawaenglish.com. If you're about to take your test, best of luck. Bye-bye.